He's coming on strong though this year. Yes. His coaches are liking his progress. Yes. And there it is in his portion of the field again. You know, it's kind of funny to look at the yellow, the yellow team. A lot of, lot of little kids, and they're, they're impressive. Certainly, the Cardinals outsize the Steel's Eagles. Yes, just no look. question about that. Just look. But I think the Eagles are proving the size doesn't matter. They're up 4 nothing in the first half. And this game is long from over. Mitchell Copel with the defense down there. Looks like it's going to be a yellow throw in. Mitchell Copel with the launch, but Red is the one that wins the throw in. Do you think they have to work on their aggression to the ball there a little bit, Rico. Are you talking about the red team or the yellow team? Oh, the Eagles. The Eagles, yeah, they got to work on their aggression, but you know, I'm thinking the, the Cardinals, they need to work even harder. They're not being very aggressive. You know, here and there I see some players being aggressive, but for the most part they're not. The The Eagles, on the, on the other hand, are, are a little more aggressive, um, but they could show more. I saw his boss. In their Friday afternoon matchup against Burt Lake, they are going to be matched up against a team very much unlike the Whittemore Press Card Cardinals. Yes. Would you agree? Yes. You know, they're, uh, they're good. But so are the Eagles. I mean, they're, they're really showing some stuff this game. Now he heads it to open space, gets his own ball. Is he going to get a shot? He did. Andrew Stockwell with the shot, but uh, he probably should have came back to Sean Gerby on that one in the middle. Played the support game. Wow, that's pretty impressive, too. Look at the speed on that big guy, Mitchell. You know, he was running right behind the red attacker. And by the time he got to the ball, he was like four person lengths ahead of him. That young man is faster than he looks. Yes. It appears that they have Dalton Thomas back in the defensive line now. It looks like they are calling him off the Cardinals defense, giving them a little bit of a break. Seems to be working out for the Cardinals well. And you got the ball down in and there. Attacking third. Trying to set something up. Oh, but that's going to be an offsides call, I do believe. Yes. There were at least two Cardinals, if not three, far behind that defensive line. And that's something I've noticed with these Keels Eagles. They, they are getting better at pushing that defensive line out when the ball goes out. Yes. The stuff that matters. Oh, my goodness. That was a freshman mistake. Did you see the hand up by Andrew Stockwell? You know, let Andrew Stockwell's a senior. He shouldn't be making errors like that. Absolutely not. He asks impossible questions. His questions are statements. Can he teach? No, he can't teach. He makes impossible statements. Nobody ever answered the question. Hunter Burmeister with the throw in, but the Cardinals win it. No. And Hunter Burmeister cleans it up. There's that young Jake Schoff getting to the ball. Passes it up to Logan, Logan Coulter, and Logan Mackey takes the ball, but just a little bit too far out in front of him. Couldn't keep control of that dribble. He keeps control of that dribble, and that's a goal for that young man. Yes, that would be number two. Well, they still got the ball down here. But the different kind of number two, you know, score number two. This is a freshman, a seventh grader, and a ninth grader, looks like, down there. Other than Andrew Stockwell, their starting senior. That's yes. very impressive. Yes. I forgot what I said. Yes. I'm going to start that has to be almost humiliating for the Cardinals to see those young players advancing against their defensive line like that. Well, there's Jake Show for the nice pass. Up to Andrew Stockwell. Oh, that's right. And the ball's going the other way. Dalton Thomas trying to clean it up for his defense. Sean Gerby with an errant pass right to the red team. Do you know it's a mistake like that that would happen when I was in school? They would whip us. 
I had a feeling that's probably what they would have done. You got a break in the action. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're setting up for a goal kick, I think. And here we go again. Somebody needs to get control of that ball. You know, I see a lot of people that standing around the ball. They're not even going for it. Where's the aggression we saw earlier? <laughs> That's a good question, Rico. Rico. Rico Suave. You know, there's a song about me. You ever hear my song? You know, no, I don't believe I have, Rico. Gerardo, he wrote the song for me, I think, because I don't know anybody else named Rico Suave. But you know, go Rico Suave. There's more to the song. I just don't want to sing it because we have this exciting game in front of us. Yes, we do. And it's young Jay Burmeister on the ball again. And the Cardinals just kick it out. Eagles on the attack. They're in the attacking third with their very young lineup. An eighth grader, a seventh grader, and a freshman in that starting lineup on the on the forward front. That's pretty young. That's very young. Very impressive that they have the ball down there in the Cardinals defending third. These are legs. This is what she was doing. Boy, you really gotta like how that Hunter Burmeister plays. You know, he's pretty aggressive and and you know, he's tough. <laughs> Absolutely. Every once in a while, he gets called with a push. But I think his coach is okay with that, with his aggression level. You know, I think they call him Farm Boy. I think he grows up on a farm. I think he pushes cows around or something. That's where he gets his strength. Really? I think so. You know, when we used oh. to push cows around on our farm, they would whip us. <laughs> is that all they would do? You know, only when we're acting up, we're not doing it right. You know, we should be pulling bulls and stuff. They're bigger. Cows are for little kids. I see. I had to push around a hippopotamus one time. <laughs> really? Yes. It was rough. Too rough. You know, he, he bit me. And you survived. I, I survived. You survived a hippopotamus attack. Yes. Very few live to tell about that. That is correct. That is correct. But you know, I, I, I made it through. I made it through. Obviously. Yes. Because here you are. Yeah, you guys here. They said that if you wear skills, things you get free stuff. She told me if I wore skills. Well, there's that Dalton Thomas. Looking just as good on defense as he does on offense. She said I got a free candy bar. Where is he kicking that ball? Well, he's I, not very impressed with himself on that kick. No, you could see him hanging his head low. You know, you, I think maybe you spoke too soon about his good defensive skills. Maybe I did. Well, you have a shooter shirt. But, but you know, sometimes you get a player and he's just good. You know, they, they, they know soccer or they know football. I Sometimes I call it your guys' soccer. You guys are kind of the only people in the world who call it foot soccer when it's really football. Well, that is to differentiate from America's now favorite sport, football, which we play with uh, pigskin, as they call it, on the gridiron with helmets. Yes. I see a little conversation going on between teammates, you know, so you'd like to encourage communication. Very good throw in to Logan Mackey, who can't stay on his feet, but it remains yellow ball. Mitchell Copel trying to clean that up. 
over to Hunter Burmeister. Passes it up to Nicholas Cuddy. Another new player on the team. Yeah, he's very new. This is his first his first game, and from when I was talking to the coaches earlier, whipped them. That's correct. That's correct. See, they found in me that I could take it and I would learn from it. I got whipped all the time. You know, I tried not to make mistakes. I didn't like it. It hurt. Was well, there anyone that did like it? Rico. That's a good point, you know. Um, you know there, Bob, I, I don't remember any of my friends that are saying, you know, I'm going to mess up because I want to be licked. That just didn't happen because it hurts. Well, the Eagles made a pretty nice advance with the ball that time, but uh, Logan Mackey got called with an offside. That was a pretty close call. It could have gone either way. Yes. I don't blame him for that. You know, sometimes you got, just got to make it happen. And I don't think I would have been whipped for that one. Well, let's see what the Cardinals can do here. And looks like John Letourneau gets a foot on the ball. Very nice, and that is the half. You know, that's an exciting half, Bob. Well, we've had an exciting half here in the SES Sports Central. I tell you what, this is going to be a good game. So far, we have some scores and some highlights going on. But I tell you what, this game is not over, and we can't count out those Cardinals. What do you think there, Brian Gumball? Well, I, I don't know what to think. It's been very exciting. I'll tell you though, Taco, if your prediction is to hold, the Cardinals are going to have to be amazing on defense now because it is already 4 to nothing. Well, that's true, 4 nothing. Uh, but then again, maybe they have the uh, conditioning needed to pull through in the second half, whereas maybe the Eagles don't have it. But from what I hear, they got some good conditioning there at Skeels Eagles. Uh, outfit out there. I have heard, I have heard their assistant coach, Mr. Beatty. Oh, he has some extremely hard workouts for them. You know, some people call him a Nazi. You know, like a workout Nazi. Uh, conditioning Nazi. Indeed. Yeah, I mean, sometimes he throws swastikas on his front yard and stuff like that. It's oh not really goodness. cool, yeah. It's no, not, that's not cool. No, no, it's not, but uh, none of his players would do that. They're, they're, they're too classy. I would, I would hope so. It's a Christian school after all. Yeah, yeah. And they have a really man of God there. The coach, too. Uh, their head coach. He's a really great guy. And, you know, this is only his second year coaching. He seems to be doing a good thing with this team. 4 nothing in the first half against the Cardinals. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. Well, I'll tell you. That first goal. Wow. About 10 minutes into the game. And that Dalton Thomas, that center forward. I'll tell you what. Pretty impressive. He ran rings around that defense of the Cardinals. Yes. Cool. Two goals in the first half already. I'm kind of excited to see if he can pull out some more. Um, at this rate, he's going to pull out four. Uh, he's amazing. But let's not overlook the youngster, Logan Mackey. His first career goal in this game so far. That's pretty Indeed. exciting for this kid. Indeed, very exciting. Um, and we got another goal. It's kind of weird, but nonetheless, uh, defensive Sean Gerby, defensive nonetheless, gets the goal. Yes, all the way from the circle. But yeah. he did have some help from the defense on that one. <laughs> Your home country. Where are you from again? Oh well, the UN does not recognize my country, uh, but my countrymen, uh, our original homeland, is uh, in Constantinople, uh, Cantabul, and uh, well, they they will not recognize us, but uh, as a nation, but we stand firm. And uh, originally, we uh, we migrated uh, from Switzerland uh, to Germany, and uh, we controlled the uh, the borders all the way to South Africa. Ah, yes, that's, yes, that's an interesting story. I mean, soccer really. You know, some people credit it for England inventing the sport, uh, but as you know, your home country did it, and it was called football. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And and I played. I played for our national team. Uh, although the Olympics would not recognize it as a national team because, as I said before, the UN has not recognized us as a, an actual country. But uh, uh, we, we, we played, uh, we, we played uh, football, as we call it, uh, and uh, we were the Constantinople Constable uh, Goat Milkers. Yeah, see? And we were very good, very good, very good. 